It's your girl Primp and Prop, and I'm back with another big girl talk. So today, um, if you're new to my channel, I do these segments where it's called Big Girl Talk, and it's just sister to sister, me sharing my experiences, me giving you um, gems, wisdom, things that I've learned over the years, because your girl has been through some things, and you know, I don't go through anything for no reason. I just feel like God brings us out of things so we can share our testimony, so we can like you know, iron sharpens iron, that kind of thing, you know? So, um, what I want to talk about today, as I was in prayer, I was like, what should I talk about? I don't know what, um, this next big girl talk should be about. So in prayer, I heard this and I wrote it down on my board cause I have a board, um, in my living room. So as I'm praying and when I'm praying, I like to walk around, I like to walk around my living room, you know, like Jeremiah did, you know what I'm saying? If you don't read the Bible, you you know, it's like biblical, whatnot. So, um, I kept hearing, plant me where I need to be planted, uproot me from where I don't belong. And then I jotted down the topic is, how do you know when to let go? How do you know when to let go? And a lot, a lot of us have not mastered that. And I'm gonna be the first one to say that sometimes I stay a lot longer than I should. I can attest to that. I do stay a lot longer than I should, which causes me to be hurt in the end. And it causes me to have to go through processes that I could have avoided. And then if I would have mastered knowing when to let go, I think I would have been a lot farther in life. I don't know, but I always feel like everything happens for a reason. You know, that kind of thing. Um, but let me see my lashes because I swear these lashes are bothering me. Y'all like my makeup? I'm supposed to be going to the mall, but I was like, oh, I got to talk to my girls today. I have to beat my face only for you guys because I would have never worn makeup to go to the mall. You know what I'm saying? Let me show you my attire. It's so cold outside. It's not so cold, but you know, I'm from Florida. So I'm wearing this, this belt that I just put together. I really just put this all together. I felt like, ooh, shape is there. Because I, I felt like um, I didn't have anything to wear. You know, I always like to keep it real. So let me tell you in the moment where I didn't let go and where I could have let go. Um, I was dating this guy. It always starts with the guy. Like, I'm so sorry, you guys. Not all my lessons are about guys. You know what? Mm, should I even talk about that? Mm, uh, Y'all want to know? I don't know. Okay. Well, this thing better not turn off on me. Don't play with me. But I was dating this guy, right? And I was, I was in love, as I thought, like always. It's like all my stories start off like that. That's sad. That's really sad. This. But I was dating this guy and I just thought I was the only one, but I wasn't. And um, when I found out, that's the time I was supposed to let go and I didn't. And by me not letting go once I found out I wasn't the only one, I stayed longer than I should have. Like it went on for years after that. So it became like this very toxic situation in my life. And it kind of like changed me in a way, in a negative way, in some positive. Um, I'm not even going to lie. Thank God for me having a prayer life and me going to church and being saved. That helped me with my healing process and trying to like get out of this rut. But how do you know when to let go? Your intuition, a.k.a. your spirit, will let you know. Because the spirit will not be at ease. Like, you'll feel uncomfortable. And when you feel uncomfortable, you have to get up. You have to get out of that uncomfortable uncomfortability, if, that, if that's even a word. But you have to move, remove yourself from that situation. You have to remove yourself from that place if you're uncomfortable. It's like laying in bed. You're in a certain position. You feel uncomfortable. What do you do? You change positions. You change you. You get out of that position, but if you're in a uncomfortable situation and you continue to stay, you're just going to continue to be uncomfortable. And sometimes what happens to people, they're so used to being uncomfortable that that becomes their norm. 
and that's when that's when your life just does a like a downward spiral like you know how you see certain people and they're a certain age and you're like why are they still toxic or why are they so comfortable in this in their situation it's because they got comfortable with the uncomfortable your spirit will always tell you when like it's time to go you'll feel uneasy when you feel that uneasiness go into prayer go into prayer like if you not, if you're not 100% sure that okay this feeling is really telling me to let go go into prayer god will give you another sign clear as day and ask god i need a sign but it needs to be clear as day cuz i don't want to make a mistake i need to know this is you god and not me so that's the thing you'll know when to let go when it starts changing you and I'm not talking about the change that's positive. I'm talking about the negative change. Like you see that you're doing things that you normally wouldn't do or you know it goes against your morals or you know it's unlike you. Like I really don't, I stop cursing, right? But dealing with this one person, he would agitate me and get me so frustrated that I would just start cursing. Like I would curse like a sailor. Like it was bad very bad like and i would get physically abusive because i would lash out because i felt like what i was saying wasn't i don't think i was articulating myself correctly so yeah like it changes you in a negative way and i started cursing and um i just felt that i wasn't at peace with myself and that's when I knew it was time to let go because I wasn't at peace with myself. And peace is so valuable. That's something no one can give you. No one can give you their peace. You have to internally have peace. And when you're not at peace with yourself, it's like being at war with yourself. And that's an unexplainable feeling, but I know 100% everyone has felt this way. Everyone at some point in their life has been in a situation that causes them to be at war with themselves, whether it be a decision you have to make and you're torn between the two and you're, it's like fighting against yourself. And no, I'm like, it's just a, me thinking about it puts me in a negative, well, I don't even, not really, it doesn't put me in a negative place because I've moved on from that. <laughs> okay. I love my lips. So, um, yeah, and the last thing you want is for someone to have that much power over you that they change you in a negative way. You give that person too much power over you because they can change your mood, they can steal your peace from you, your joy from you, your happiness from you. That person does not deserve you. That situation does not deserve you. That situation is done. Knowing when to let go, when it is over, it is done, when it is dead. Leave dead situations alone. It does not deserve you. When you get to a point where you know that you are enough. And that goes into, it doesn't allow you to grow. That's another way you'll know when to let go. Whether it be a job, friendship, a relationship, anything. If you cannot grow with that person, if you cannot grow at that job, if you cannot grow within the friendship, grow together, it's time to let go. It doesn't mean it's beef. It doesn't mean like we're at, <laughs> we're never gonna be friends again, you know? But in this season, be very sensitive to what God is telling you to let go. Take heed to the signs. Take heed to what you're feeling, what you're thinking, and make sure you're praying because sometimes our minds would deceive us our hearts would deceive us as well but take heed to those things because the more you hold on to what is not for you what does not belong to you the more you hold yourself back the more you live in stagnation the more you're not going to live your best life holding on to something that does not belong to you that god been told you to let go you're not living your best life and if you think you are, trust me, imagine your life being a hundred times better. I'm just saying, 
I'm just saying. And another way, yeah, definitely pray about it and learn to trust yourself. Trust yourself. And if you don't trust yourself, sit with yourself and get to know yourself so you can trust yourself and trust your decision making and trust that you know what you want. If you don't know what you want, I suggest you get to know what you want because then when you know what you want, you can decide and be clear about what you don't want, what you don't want to settle for, what you need to let go. Because once you identify what I want, and if you're in a place where you're getting what you don't want, you're going to know, okay, it's time for me to let go of this because uh, this doesn't really put my soul on fire. This doesn't really feed me. Mm, this really doesn't please me. This really doesn't make me feel good. This really doesn't make me feel like myself. Mm. And I always picture where you want to be. Where where do I envision myself years from now? Who do I envision myself being? Like this person. Not anybody else. Don't try to be like no one else but yourself. But where do you see yourself? And think about. Can I be in this situation? Will this situation, will this work, will this job, will this career take me to that place? Will this career make me into that woman? Will this career or will this friendship help me become that person? Can I see that person that I want to be? Do I see that person being friends with this person? Honestly, truly building a solid friendship, a solid girl group. You have to build a solid girl group because thank God I have it because everybody needs it. If you're one of those people that say, I don't need friends, girl, you crazy. I don't even trust people like you. I'm just being real. You need friends. You need solid people. I'm not counting how many friends you need, but you at least need two because sometimes you can't depend on one. At least two solid friends. Like, seriously. Um... But once you mastered letting go, when to let go, you'll just see your life just be different, like in a good way. You'll experience, and I feel like knowing when to let go has to do with self-love. Because if you don't love yourself, you're going to stay and you're going to allow people to treat you any kind of way. And you're going to stay in situations that hurt you that doesn't allow you to grow that doesn't benefit you in any kind of way that does nothing for you when you don't love yourself because you don't know what you want you're just happy to feel some kind of like belonging but when you know who you are and whose you are there's certain things that you won't even allow into your space I pray that every person, I'm going to keep this really short, but I pray that every person that's listening to this um, video knows when to let go. And if this is the season where God has you in like this wilderness place where you feel like, oh, everybody's against me. I, I feel torn. I feel like I need to let go, but I, I love these people. I love my work or I'm scared to let go of my job. I'm scared to break off that friendship because I knew this person for over 10 years. I pray that God brings clarity and I pray that God guides you through this. And I pray that you are strengthened in letting go. Because letting go of what is not for you will only bless you. Letting go what is not for you will only bless you. You're not missing out on anything. You will not miss out on anything. Once you let go of what is not for you, you'll start living your best life. And even if, and when I say best life, doesn't mean that everything is going to be peaches and green. But knowing that you are right where you want to be, you are right where you need to be. And you're not entertaining people, places, or things that don't feed you, that doesn't edify you that doesn't help you grow as a person you ultimately choose yourself when you learn to let go of what is not for you like i said and my prayer is and i want you guys to say this because this is the prayer that i'm going to pray plant me where i need to be planted uproot me from where i don't belong 
find where you belong. And I pray that God uproots you and you have the strength to never look back. Because once he uproots you or once you realize, okay, this is what I need to let go, don't go back. Because I made that mistake of going back to um, a situation where I let go. And I knew it was for my good that I let go of this situation, but I went back. And did I end up getting hurt in the end? Yes, I did. I surely did get hurt in the end. But let me tell you something about God. A merciful God we serve. Um, Me going back, God still turned it around for my good. Because I stepped out on faith by moving. I made the most money I ever made. Um, I just saw blessings really fall down on me once I finally let go. And that was me trusting myself and also trusting God that there's better for me and that better will find me. Not right away. I'm okay with being patient and waiting for what is for me because I've been in places, been with people, have built friendships that were not for me. And when I look back, I wanted to slap myself. Like, why did I even entertain that? Why did I even think that was okay? Why did I even allow someone to treat me this way and think my light is dying? That's why it's flickering. Let me turn it off. My light just went out. Yeah, I'm sorry for the light change. You see, it's always something. The enemy is trying to stop me from delivering this message for you. So that's how I know this is for someone because everything that could have went wrong went wrong while I was recording this. And I prayed before doing this video and God gave me this. So I know this is for someone. This is your season. But if if you want this to be your season, if this, if you want everything you want in life, God wants to give it to you. He doesn't need it. So the more you hold on to something that does not belong to you, that doesn't deserve you, you are holding up what God has for you. It's time for us to boss up. It's time for us to glow up. But in order for you to do that, you have to let go. And how do you know that? You Deep down inside, you know what to let go. If your soul is uneasy, your spirit is uneasy, you don't feel like you can grow in this situation. You feel torn. You feel like you're, that you're at war with yourself. You feel sad if that person changes your mood in a negative way where you don't feel alive, you don't feel happy. You already know it's time to let go and you deserve better. And it doesn't mean that better is going to come as soon as you let go of that situation. But to know that I chose myself and better is going to find me. That's that faith. Faith in I know better is going to find me. But self-love is letting go because I deserve more. I'm enough. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be wealthy. I deserve these things. I deserve to feel like I'm beautiful. I deserve. I deserve what is good. I deserve to feel alive every day I wake up. I deserve. I deserve. I deserve it. I deserve what's best for me. I deserve it. You deserve it. You do. Okay, that's it. Y'all got me? Let go. Let go. Let go. I love you guys. It's your girl, Primp and Proper. And if you like this video, like it, comment, comment. I want y'all to say, I deserve. I want y'all to comment, I deserve. Leave it down in the comments. I deserve. I want every person watching this video to comment, I deserve. And tell me what you deserve. Even if you don't even know what you deserve, just write, I deserve. Because you're manifesting it. You're speaking it into existence. This is your year. This is your year. But first we have to let go of some things. Okay, and it's okay. Growing pains. It's gonna hurt. But you still have to let go, sis. I love y'all. It's prep and proper. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with all your homegirls. Cause somebody need to hear it. Bye. Love y'all. Hey, that's a whole lot of blues. Boss moves, I don't need no do. Boss moves, I don't need no do. Period. God made self-pay. You can't stop this.